Lady Pops and Casey and today we went to the MCM Expo in London and it was so good but for now we're gonna show you what we bought at the MCM Expo in London yeah massive haul so prepare your asses because this is gonna take a while it's gonna be a very long video <laughs> and if you can hear the bells ringing it's the ears I'm sorry I apologize I suppose because of the noisiness to start off the video I'll explain um, I bought these ears today at the MCM they're just clips I'll take one out to show you like, you can just clip them in they're really fluffy. A pair was £15, by the way, if you want to know. Yeah, and the only reason she bought them is because we thought we was going to meet Jessica Negri and we thought, oh, we'll dress as cats for some reason. But then in the end, we didn't get to meet her. Even we, though we waited all day. Yeah, like, we were just, like, really plain. It was like, well, if we're going to have a photo taken, we want to, like, look more expo-y, if, if that yeah. makes sense. We were cool. Because we've so. both got colours as well. Yeah. They were £2 each. They're yeah. really shiny. No, no, gives you. There's mine. <laughs> That's mine. What colour did you get in the end? I got purple. Oh, yeah. yeah. I'm going to quickly show you, I've got some snacks. Um, yeah, I went to Cyber Candy because Cyber Candy was there. So I'm just going to quickly show you what I got you from Cyber Candy so I can put it away because it's like in the way. Yeah. So, i got some of these Skittles. Um, it says Orchard, Orchard Verges. I don't really know. It's not really in English. Um, but these are the flavours on the back and I just thought they were quite interesting because they're cherry and peach and stuff. Yeah, so I like the, I went to try the cherry and the peach ones, so that's why I got those. Um, I love Blurge. the airheads. I really like the blueberry ones, but I couldn't find them, so I just picked up these two and the flavors are they're upside down. One of them. Um, one of them's watermelon and one of them's cherry, but I really like these. Um, the blue ones are the best though, but they didn't have those. And um, I saw these at another store, birthday cake M and M's, and I didn't get them. And then I saw them at this one, at the cyber candy one, and I just grabbed them. I was like, I'm gonna get them, I don't care, <laughs> and I picked them up. This was 25p, it's like um, popping candy. So I just picked it up, or I'll try it for 25p. Is it brain liquor? Yeah, it's called brain liquor. And it comes with, it says five packs times 1.5 grams, plus two free stickers. I think it might be five brains. I think I might have had this as a kid before. So I wasn't quite sure what that meant, but um, yeah, I picked it up for 25p. And my favorite chocolate, and I even like Easter asked for this um, chocolate as my Easter egg, it's after eight, and I found an after eight chocolate bath I was like I need that in my life. <laughs> I'm gonna be sad when it goes though. And um I've been seeing these like quite a lot on online these jelly bellies and they're just the sparkly ones so I picked up a Star Wars one. They did have the frozen ones which are the same exact jelly beans but um I wanted a Star Wars packet because I'm sad. The same flavours in the frozen one. Yeah yeah oh, fair enough. Um I believe so anyway. Okay, so I bought a lot of little bits of Japanese candy and the reason for that is because I plan to do a Japanese tasting video. So I don't know what a lot of this stuff is, but bought it because it looked cool. So this one, all I know is it's great and it's got these weird strips. So yeah. Okay, I got one of these things. It's squidgy. I think it's got like a chocolatey center, I hope. I think it's a mochi or a mochi. I'm not sure, and apparently the man said it kind of has the texture of a Turkish delight, so hopefully this is nice. I'm kind of hoping it tastes like more like a marshmallow. <laughs> I have no idea what this is. It's really tiny, it's shaky, and it has a skull pattern on. This one, again, no idea what it is, but this one says cookie crunch chocolate, I think, so that one might taste nice. The back looks like that. I will be tasting these in another video, so check it out. Should do a taste test Tuesday. Another little thing, it looks really cute, it kind of reminds me of like a tiramisu, it's like a little mini one. They did have big versions of these in the uh, MCM, but... And that I is tiny, I'd... like, yeah. if you compare the size of a finger, it's yeah. absolutely tiny. But it's cute, and it, I thought I'd get the smaller one in case I didn't like the bigger one. And I just thought, I just got this, it's just two white balls, I have no idea what it is, but I thought it was adorable, because it's packaged in like a panda wrapper, and I thought it was cute. Another mo mochi, mochi thing, again. I think this one's strawberry and we actually bought these with the ice creams we got they're custard doraki <laughs> but it's custard and it's pancake you had one i had i got a chocolate one um that one's just custard stuff but basically it's pancakes and my one had obviously chocolate inside because it was chocolate but it was absolutely delicious it was really nice sticking on the candy thing quickly i just want to quickly show you two things that i got um the stationery i got some stickers which have like cakes and stuff. This is for when we do our, like, our memoir book. Me and Chloe have got um, a memoir book together, like just to like, um, keep your memories together and stuff. And because I've been reading a lot lately, I've got like little bookmark things so I know where what page I was on last. So um, they're really cute. Yeah, and you get loads in the packet, so 
totally worth the one. Was it £1.50? Yeah, they're both £1.50 each, so it's £3 for both of them. So where she got her uh, um, other Japanese candy, she saw these burgers. And um, they were quite intriguing, I think they were £5. And actually... We actually tasted them before yeah. the taste test video, but that's only because... Hungry! Okay, we was on the stairs and we were hungry and I thought they looked really cool, but I wasn't sure what they are, were. I thought they were going to be kind of like gummy sweets, but when we open, well, you'll see. Go watch the other video and you'll see what they look like because they're pretty. And amazing. you'll find out how much, if or not, we like them. Yeah. Okay, so again, I bought for future making of YouTube videos. I bought two of the make your own food sets. So this one is uh, chips, uh, rice pandas, and stuff like that. That's going to be fun to make. I haven't made these before. I did a couple with you, but... Yeah, I had a birthday cake one I did. I did the chip one, it's burger chip one, but I don't think it's there. And also a pizza one with... Pizza one with smiley face waffles and a drink. So good, that looks so cute. And then she picked up another one. Well, I said to her, I'll get this one, get this one, because it looked really interesting. And I'm sure I've seen someone make this before. And then I was like, oh yeah, make that one. And I was like, I'll make it when I'm there. But in the end, I end up buying one too. <laughs> so we both got one to make. So we'll probably make them together. Yeah, they're like ice cream sundaes, ice cream cone, and an ice cream waffle. But it looks like it comes with the actual waffles and stuff on the back. Like when you make it, so you just fill fill it in. Yeah. So it looks really cool. Should be fun. I hope it tastes nice too. Sticking to food, I'll just quickly show what my boyfriend got. There's a stall there selling loose tea with like different like characters on and stuff, but they're all different flavours and all handmade and stuff. So that's Drogo from Game of Thrones. And that tea is called Moon of My Life. Very nerdy style tea. And they were free for £20, so that's the way I got them. They're quite big bags as well, so it's a pretty good deal. This one's called Mother of Dragons, and it's Daenerys. Although, it looks like a man in that picture to me for some reason. I haven't seen it, Joe. Holy really crap, it does. It looks like she has a, she has a beard. Oh, no. <laughs> that artwork doesn't seem that great. And knows nothing, but it's Jon Snow. So. With Ghost. Yay! Yay! Oh yeah, Chloe wandered off and I went, saw this stall and they had these like, they had loads of different things, they had like these bracelets and one was the Joker and one was Batman and me and Chloe are complete opposite. She loves Joker and I love Batman, so so this is over my actual MCM tag. But, yeah, um, we have a lot of stuff, but this one's the Joker one. And oh. That's my Batman one. And um, I went over to her and I got you a present and then she was like, oh my god, I love it. So we put them yeah. straight away, didn't we? They're amazing. We always talk about how I love the Joker and how she loves Batman. Moving on to a related note, <laughs> we bought pop vinyls! As always, we had to get pop vinyls, always. of course. I got Batman! <laughs> and I got the Joker! <laughs> so, um, I actually saw this in Tesco a little while ago and I really wanted it, but I was like, no, we're going to the expo, I'll just see what I want at the expo. In the end, I ended up getting um, Batman anyway. Sorry if you can hear the cat meow and he's outside the door, I think he wants to come in. I'll let him in. Yeah, and also, like, I love the Joker, I love everything Joker related, and like my whole room is... The reason I painted my room green was because I like the Joker, and because I bought a massive, huge canvas poster of the Joker. I might do a room tour one day. Also, um, the first pop I saw, I got another pop. I got this one. It feels really heavy. I don't know why. It's like the same size as everything else. The reason why I got this one is because it was only seven pound. Mm, and there usually, was a they usually retail at ten pound. Um, but there was a sale, so yeah. I picked this one up. If I was gonna choose one, I would have probably would have chose. Cho sorry, I can't speak. Mm -hmm. If I was gonna choose um, a My Little Pony one, I probably would have chose the Rainbow Dash one. But in this set, it's because just it doesn't sell. We thought get it. Yeah, I was like, I'll just grab it, seven quid, like, I'm collecting them, so I'll pick it up. I'll just quickly show you what my boyfriend got as well. He got a limited edition Attack on Titans Erin one. Yeah, it's the, the transformed version. It's so cool. Yeah, he's on with the white eyes. I really want that. Oh, That's jealous. like the normal one on the back. And this is the other one, so. Wait, and, you see this? Um, saying that, because it is limited edition one, no. <laughs> I, I'll probably forget. Saying that, because it is limited edition, um, it was only twelve pound. Mm. Limited editions usually go for forty pound because of obviously, obviously getting them over from America. But there was one store trying to sell them, sell them for forty pound. So might have got a good deal on that. Right, sticking on the Funko bandwagon. What, what? Yeah. Theme. Sticking so staying with, with the Funko theme. Um, I went a bit overboard with mystery minis. Do you mental? <laughs> yeah. So I'll quickly show you which ones I got, and I'll do an unboxing video with all of them. I got. She got two Funko N A Nightmare Before Christmas mini mystery boxes. With these characters that you can get. I wonder which one I'll get. We already have the devil and... The mayor. The mayor, yeah. I got one of the Spickle Me ones. I got one of the Game of Thrones ones. 
purely because I want the dragon. Yeah, that's the only reason I yeah, buy them. I don't. I mean, I like Game of Thrones. I'm a fan of Game of Thrones, but the people look a bit weird. And if they're on your shelf on their own, you're not going to know who they are. Yeah, they don't seem to represent the characters very well. Yeah, so they're okay, but whatever. And I've got two superhero, DC superhero ones. Because I'm hoping for Batman. i got one of the Guardians of the Galaxy mystery ones. I watched this film the other day, so I'm a bit obsessed again. <laughs> so, I love this film. And like, I didn't realise how much I like Groot until I watched it again. And last but not least, I've got one of the Series 2 My Little Pony ones. I've had two of these ones before, but this one can't, you can get this called My Lovely Sweet Boyfriend. Her yeah, awesome, awesome boyfriend. I was like, oh, I've got you a surprise. And then he gave me this, which is the brand new um, Magic the Gathering Command... Modern Masters. Modern, yeah, I nearly said Commander. Modern <laughs> Masters pack. And it's weird because I've opened it already, but it comes in like a chocolate box type thing. And then he went to Chloe, I've got you one too. <laughs> so we couldn't resist. Yeah, I was so excited. I can't believe we bought you one. We opened them straight away. This is the rare That's I've like... got. If you know what Magic the Gathering is, this is the rare i got. It's a mythic rare. So that's the one i got. And I got a golden indomitable archangel. I don't think I'm saying that right, but deal with it. Oh, and a shiny dispatch. Going back to Batman. <laughs> God, I'm obsessed. Majorly obsessed. I go through the, like, these stages where I get obsessed with things. I got the love letter game, but Batman version. And the idea is to get for Batman to get all the um... villains back into Arkham Asylum. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, so hopefully Joker's in it. I also, well, we was looking at this. I'm in an RM, and in the end, I realised it was like for um, more than ten players, ten players plus, or is it two to thirteen players? Two to thirteen players. <laughs> yeah, so two to thirteen players. And we normally play with a big group of friends. So I got the Masquerade. Yeah, we're always looking for games with game. more players because we always like to get people involved. And it's just like basically a card game. And we normally play Resistance and everyone always gets to yum and hate each other at the end. <laughs> yep. So we got an expansion so everyone Yay! can hate each other again. <laughs> so we can hate each other more. Well, Mike paid for this, uh, just to let you guys know. Um, and then we all put our money, well not all because there was only three of us, we put our money together to buy this brand new game that we saw there. It, they had a deal because it was, the game's £50 on mm. its own. Do you want to show the game? Yeah, it's called Crossmaster Arena. Um, but you get like these little um, vinyl figures that you play with. That's pretty much what sold me. I saw those and I was like, yeah, we have to get this. Because of the figures, they look like League of, Le uh, League of Legends characters. It's like a board game version of League of Legends. It reminds you of it, it? Yeah, and so the best part is the vinyl characters you can actually collect as mystery mini figures. So you can get them randomly as well. Because it was £50, um, there was in a special deal where you got two free. Mm -hmm. Because there was three of us, we paid an extra five hours to get another one. Oops. So we each get one. Oh look, they're different characters that you can get. Uh, that you play with in the game. It looked really fun. We didn't stay and play the game um, the game because it was getting quite late and was getting quite tired. So in the end we just decided that Screw it. We love board games. We thought we're gonna play it anyway and we love collecting mystery minis, so it just seems like yeah. a good game. And last but not least, one of the coolest things we bought, which you may have already seen, is these masks. <laughs> Get a speak. <laughs> the reason I like bought my one is because it really reminded me of the film uh, Purge. I love the creepy characters in it and it looks scary. I like looking scary and Casey tried it on as well. And, and I was like, oh, I'm going to get one too. Like, yeah. Great. And we look cool walking out. I kind of think we should have bought these at the beginning, but we didn't see them. That um, would have been cool to walk around in. We're going to go and sleep now because we are so tired. It was a really great day and it was really fun. We've been looking forward to it for so long, but exhausted. Very exhausted. Massive My makeup's probably exhausted. just dripping off my face. Yeah, there's something going on here. I... I... I just give up. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for watching the video guys, if you like the video please press the like button down below, subscribe if you want to see more of us, we are kind of crazy sometimes, Yeah. Um, and annoying. Maybe leave a comment as well for things you want to see, we're going to do more videos on, she's going to do an opening video, I'm going to do a taste video and you know, so just videos, we like making these for you and for us. Yeah, we find it fun and it's something we can do together, like yeah, it helps us bond. It does. Get we hate each other, we've been, to cover. we've been friends for like 10 years, yeah. we, need, we need something to stick together. Don't, don't break us up. Subscribe. <laughs> we'll just get even closer. We're merging to the same person. Merging. All right, we're, we're, we're overtired. We've gone crazy. <laughs> okay.